Welcome back to my channel. I am super, super excited about today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the six qualities that every confident woman possess. Hi beauties, I'm Lakita, your beauty image strategist and confidence coach. And I help women look and feel absolutely amazing by showing up bigger, braver, and bolder in life and in business. So, as I just said, I'm super, super duper excited about today's topic only because number one, I haven't, let's be, let's be real here, I have not recorded a business slash motivational type video in quite some time. So I've been off the grid for a bit. So I am back now with my business and motivational videos, honey. So I'm super excited about just meeting with you guys today, just being able to sit down and just talk, girl. Let's just talk it out. And I just wanted to, you know, start with this particular topic because I'm sorry, but women are taking over the world, okay? We were once behind the curtain. Now we are the voice of this nation at this point. So I just wanted to just, you know, come here and just talk about just really the qualities and just six basic qualities. You know, there's so many other qualities that confident women possess, but I just wanted to stick with my top six qualities that I feel every confident woman possess. Stay tuned. So at the top of my tips, I have that confident women are self-aware. Their self-awareness is turned up to the max. So that means that every day we are setting time to reflect, have self-reflection. We visit our daily intentions so that way we stay on target. Like that is nothing worse than doing something and there's really no intention behind it. So it's really like you're doing it for no reason at all. So with self-aware women, we tend to self-reflect. We tend to ask ourselves questions as the day go along, as activities go along, as opportunities are presented. We are very aware that, hey, is this the right thing for me? Is it gonna make an impact in someone else's life? Is it, if it, is it gonna make an impact in my life? So that leads us always to personal development, personal improvement. We're always consistently working on ourselves. We spend time meditating every day. We spend time just alone every day. We spend time journaling. It is so much power within you that you put down on paper. So that's one of the qualities that most confident women possess. We have, we are very, very self-aware. We are very aware of who we allow access to, um, to us. We are very aware what energies are around us and we tend to stray away from negative energy or if it's energy that we can't not really place, we don't know if it's good or bad. It has that mixture. We tend to, again, self-reflect, pray, and let the spirit move us to where it needs to be moved. So that's my tip number one. Quality number two, confident women give zero cares about what you think of them, okay? And I didn't use the word I really want to use because I'm trying my best to, you know, stray away from profanity because I'm, try I'm trying something different, okay? You gotta do things differently to get different results. So I'm really working really hard not to really use any profanity, but you know what I'm saying. Confident women give zero, when I tell you zero cares about what you think about them. We're very aware that everyone has an opinion about us. We have, <laughs> hold up girl, let me just tell you, okay? Your mama gonna be saying something about you, your cousins, your daddy, your sister, your brothers, um, um, your, your aunties, your, your friends. Like, you always have people that's gonna be giving you just unlisted advice. Like, nobody asked them for their opinion, but they're gonna give it. We have the society telling us, you know, how our, the image of our body should be, you know, how we should run our business, you know, what's good for your business, what's good, for, for your child, even though they've never met your child, but you know, they, they're gonna tell you what's good for your child and how you should be raising your child, how you should chastise your child. You know, 
those different things. A person who's not confident and do not know themselves would take every single advice from every person that's given that to them and you know what happens? They become overwhelmed. They start having anxiety because they want to please all of these people that's given them this unlicited advice. Like, they handing it to you like, hey girl, mm, I got a gift for you, okay? Let me go ahead and let me just gift you with this, okay? Here you go. So, hun, if I were you, I hate that. I hate that if I were you. Because you know what? You not me. You not me. So don't be telling me if you were me. So when people start with that, if I were you, I politely let them finish speaking. I let them finish. And I politely say, mm, again, what do you know about my kids? What's their names? Mm. Mm -hmm. So you're not me, right? Okay, so you're not me. I, I respect, you know, your advice. And thank you for that. So don't start your sentences with, if I were you. Thank them, move on. Give zero cares about what people think of you. Because I'm going to tell you that you cannot please people. You know, I have gone through many stages as far as my weight. I have been a very skinny girl. I have been, you know, a little fluffy. You know, in every stage somebody had an opinion you know when you're when you're really skinny what you hear a lot um what, what what's the what's the one that that used to drive me crazy you like they used to always say um you're you're so skinny girl you don't eat you don't know what skinny girls do skinny girls will break your pocket take us out for a dinner okay we will break all your pockets okay you better bring your black card okay you better bring the black card. Is we eat. High. It's something so about it's sometimes really hard my metabolism was like weight when or, I'm really you know, and, and, and I stay a small girl. Every stage of my weight journey, I've loved. I've loved when I was a small girl. I loved when I was like a little fluffy. I loved when I was really heavy. You know, either way, I loved me because I knew who I was. I now knew what I needed to work on. I knew when I didn't feel so sure about myself and I knew what to do to change that. But you always have people that's telling you, oh girl, you don't gain weight. Like, so no matter what I was able to do or what I did in my life, I knew I couldn't please people. Even down to starting your business, you're always gonna tell pe um, have people telling you when to start a business, how to start your business, what you should focus on. You being the business owner, you being confident and knowing where you know what type of impact you want to make in this world is going to be your your factor. You know your biggest factor. You can't let the opinions of others and the advice of others lead you down a road of destruction. So basically, when I say destruction, I mean mentally because you start doubting yourself. You start trying to please them, so then you lose yourself in all of these opinions. So that's why I say confident women, one thing that I do know that confident women possess is they give zero cares about the opinions of others. Like for me, I don't care like what people think I should focus on in my business. I don't care what may work best for another business because their business is not the mirror of my business. My, the impact that I'm trying to make in the world is gonna be different than the impact that you're trying to make in the world or that person's trying to make in the world. So I do give, like if someone asks me for advice, I give that to them. But I don't just voluntarily give people advice based on, girl, this is what I did, so maybe you should try this, da 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 da. Like I don't do that. Like that's something that I don't do because I know that when, when women are trying to find their way and they don't know quite yet who they are and the reason I know when women are not yet, they haven't reached that that part in their journey yet is because they, they ask, it's like they're asking for permission to move 
in their business. They're asking for permission to do something in their personal life. You don't need no permission, honey. You don't need Lakita to tell you. You don't need your mama to tell you. You don't need your sister to tell you. You don't need your daddy to tell you. You don't need your friend to tell you. Your best friend, yeah, you don't need her either. All you need is your intuition to tell you how to move, when to move, and with what to move with. Okay? So that's what I have to say about tip number or, or quality number two, I should say. Quality number three is that a confident woman follows her purpose. There is nothing more fulfilling than a woman finding the courage to step out on faith, to take that leap, to follow their purpose. It means more to them than just going to work earning a paycheck, okay? It may, their purpose means more to them than money. At this point, what needs to happen or what fulfills them, I should say, would be that their this money, this you know, your your daily activity, all of this has spiritual alignment to move you towards the destiny, which is your purpose. They're ready for their voice to be heard. They're trying to find their voice in order to make the impact in the world. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to go to a nine to five and to work for people that you, they just really shouldn't even be running a company, right? Or they should be going back to do more management training themselves. And to have to be in dysfunction and just to earn a paycheck to, to pay bills um, so that your kids and yourself and your family don't be out on the street. I know what that feels like. And I also know what it feels like to say, you know what, enough is enough. I am more than just here to be earning a paycheck. I'm actually placed on this earth to find my purpose, to move towards that purpose. And if that means that I have to let go of a job that absolutely brings me nothing but misery, then so be it. Because my spiritual alignment with what I was placed on this earth to do means so much more to me. If that, that means more to you than just going into a job and just doing a job, getting paid every, you know, every other week and paying your bills. You were meant to do something so extraordinary. Quality number four is that confident women detaches from the old to step into the new. Now I know you've heard this before, but how serious do you truly take it, okay? So basically what that means for me, um, being a confident woman, is that everybody's not meant to go on this journey with you. Girl, let me tell you, everybody is not meant to go on this journey with you. And you just have to face it, okay? When you're extremely confident where, where you're going and within yourself, I'm not saying arrogance, I'm saying just confident, confident in yourself. You are very open-minded, you're very aware, and you pray the type of prayers that will reveal how you make your next move. What's the next right move in your life? What's the next right move in your business? So the type of prayers that I pray for is I always, always pray for revelation. I pray for God to reveal the people that's for me, the opportunities that's for me, the people that's not for me, the opportunities that's not for me, even if it hurts. This one quality that women possess is <laughs> so painful, okay? But it is a necessary step for elevation. Everybody who started with you will not finish with you. They won't, girl. They won't. Take it out of your mind. Take it out of your mind that once I get my foot in the door, I'm going to bring my best friend and all of them in there. Because God is going to reveal who's truly your friend. God is going to reveal who your ride or dies are. Who are the people that's just trying to stay connected with you for beneficial reasons. 
or the people that's connected to you and will stay connected to you whether or not you make money you don't make money you get that you know you get that one job or that one opportunity that can bless them all or you don't get that opportunity that you know will all bring them all in the door god is going to reveal these people to you and the most hurtful thing of it all is some of these people may even be in your family hey they may even be people you've been riding to die with or riding along with for for many years you know you just have to be prepared that when you pray this prayer that you learn once God reveals these people and these opportunities that you take your hand off the knob and stop trying to hold on because the longer you hold on, the longer it's going to take for you to get to what God is trying to get you to. He's trying to get you and mold you into something new, but you got your hand on the old. Let me tell you, I have, <laughs> let me tell you, when I prayed this prayer, I was not prepared, okay? I was not prepared of who God was going to reveal. I was not gonna I was not prepared of who was really using me um, for opportunities who was using me for money who was using me and I had to learn because for for a very long time no matter what I would keep my hand on the doorknob meaning if I didn't hear from that person and then Something led me in my spirit and I was like, okay, I'm going to go and text this person. No, I had to learn to listen to God. I have gotten so clear and, and so unbothered that when I even feel myself about to put my hand on the knob, you see my hand is still up. Once I feel like I'm about to put my hand on the knob, I can hear God say, take your hand down. Mind your business, sit down, be still, be patient. We about to do some really amazing things. Value number five is confident women understands the value of personal branding. Okay, so when I say personal branding, I'm not talking about your website. I'm not talking about your social media handles. I'm not talking about any of that stuff. I am talking about you, what you bring to the table, what steps into the room with you. That means your attitude. That means the way that you put yourself together. A lot of times we are in this phase of, girl, take me as I am, okay? They gonna have to take me as I am or they ain't gonna take me, da da da. You're missing out on some opportunities. Your pocketbook is gonna look a little empty, okay? I'm just being honest. It's gonna look a little empty. Your attitude is part of your energy. Look, listen. But you reap you sow. So what you put out here, you're going to get back. You don't put yourself together and you go out into this world and you look in any kind of way thinking you're going to get these grand opportunities from, from these billionaire type of people. And you, these opportunities never come your way. But you keep getting trash opportunities. Meaning people that's not want to pay for your services. You know, you're, you're getting men showing up that you would never even consider dating okay what are you putting out that's boomeranging back to you i have a motto and there's no matter how people treat me you can come about and you can try and use me you can be really nasty to me i am always going to rise above because my character dictates my future be very cognizant about how you show up in this world put yourself together you ain't gotta put me wearing makeup but guess what don't be gay i'm gonna wear me some makeup is dress up for yourself show up for yourself show up for this world and watch all of the opportunities that come your way opportunities meaning in your in your personal life in your business life, in your spiritual life. Just watch how God make room for those opportunities that you've been praying about 
for them to flow. You need to open up the flow to you, honey. Let it flow. So just be very cognizant about how you show up, your personal brand. So what I tend to do is I write down adjectives of what I would want people to say, you know, describe me as, and, and that's what I exemplify every single day. So some of my adjectives is kind, loving, generous, genuine, loyal. Like some of those are my, my qualities, well put together, poised, elegant, like those are qualities of and, and adjectives that I want people to describe me as when I am not even nowhere in the room. And quality number six is kind of a piggyback from quality number five. And that's confident women lead with light, kindness, and love. You want to light this world up. You want to give so much love. There's so much hate in this world right now to the point where if we keep matching hate and matching hate, it's just gonna continue to create destruction. Spiritual destruction, destruction in our environment, destruction in our homes. But we as one can spread so much light and so much love and so much kindness that it overtakes all of the evil that's going on. And that's what confident women do. We spread kindness, generosity, love. I can't speak for all confident women, but I can speak for the majority of us. I, on this journey of entrepreneurship and building this beautiful brand of Mocky Beauty, have been able to run into some beautiful souls, people that I would have never had the opportunity to enter the room with had I not been leading with light and love. So I, I want to leave you with that one powerful quality. It's the most powerful quality I think of them all is that confident women lead with light, kindness, and love. Light up this world, girl. Don't let nobody take that from you. Love is found within. You can't seek that from external people, external things of this world that is found within. Find a way to connect with it. It's so powerful, okay? And I hope these, these qualities lead you to, to self-reflect, to determine where you fall at within all, of, all six of them. Do you have these qualities already? I know you are already a confident woman. You are a beautiful woman. You're exuding that light but always self-reflect and ask yourself the important questions. So if this video helped you, please do not hesitate to hit that like button. Look down below and subscribe so that way you're notified for all, with all of my other videos that I will be releasing. Don't forget to turn the notification button on so that you are alerted in your inbox. And as always, 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 always aspire to inspire someone every single day Let's empower each other to be better versions of ourselves each and every day. So until next time, guys, you have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, guys. Bye.